Hi, and welcome to your second tutorial on the Toss dialog. Um, from our last tutorial, in the background, I've just made, changed the forms and added a button in there. And in the click event handler for the button, I've put in this bit of code just to show you a simple Toss dialog. Now let's go ahead and run this. Um, as you can see, it has a caption. It has the main text and some additional text if you wish to add it. And it also has a button, a OK button. Um, you might think this is strange because we didn't actually add a button to our task dialog, but it already has one. This is because the task dialog will defaultly add a OK button to your task dialog if you have not um, specified what you want. OK, let's get out of that. Um, I'm going to show you how to add a simple, add a set of standard buttons now. To do that, you go your task dialog name minus td, so td dot um, task dialog. I mean standard buttons. There we go. And to add standard buttons, all you have to do is go equals to task dialog standard buttons dot. Um, Let's say we want to add a close button. Just go click and double the semicolon. Now, if you run it, you'll see that instead of the OK button, there you have a close button. Uh, this is all good, but what if you want more than more than one button? So, to do that, all you have to do is after your first, after you've added your first button, press space, then add a pipe symbol then add your second button so task dialog standard buttons dot okay alright now if you run this you'll see that we have a closed button and the okay button see we have a cl closed button and the okay button alright um, now let's have a look at how you can capture what the user presses so whether the user presses close or OK. To do that, we need to add a thing called a task dialog result. And where we add this is bef where we show our task dialog. So let's go task dialog result. We'll just call it tdr equals to td.show. And task dialog result is going to return a value depending on what the user presses. Um, just so you know, if the user closes uh, closes out of the task dialog using the close using the X button at the top, it's a task dialog close event. So let's go. If tdr dot on oh, tdr equals to equals to task dialog result dot Okay, so this is what our program is going to do if the user presses OK. We'll just add a else if tdr equals to equals to task dialog result dot close. There we go. Um, we'll just uh, we'll just show a message box saying that these are pressed OK here. So message box dot show. Let's go add user. Oops, OK. Now I'll just copy that over in the else statement. OK, let's run this. Click on the do things button. Then, well, if you press OK, it'll show the user pressed OK. If you go back into it, and if you press close, the user user it'll show the user pressed close. All right. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next tutorial.